the old grey wolf and the white sheep. From the dawn of time, wolves have been devouring gentle little sheep. Sometimes, to get their revenge, sheep set traps for the wolves. Very often, the poor things would lose the tip of their tails in them. It was the day before Christmas. On this lovely snowy morning, a young sheep took advantage of an open gate to escape the sheepfold and explore the countryside. The unfortunate thing. Did he not know then that an old grey wolf was prowling the forest, famished after two days without food? The wolf was looking for something to sink his teeth into. The little white sheep, blissfully unaware, thought of nothing but playing, leaping and frolicking in the fresh snow. But soon he had to admit it. He did not recognise anything around him anymore. He was well and truly lost. As he wondered how he could ever find his way back to the sheepfold, he noticed in the snow two black ears, all furry and pointed. Furious, he took a step forward and made out big, long, white teeth as sharp as the mountain peaks. It was the wolf. He did not cry wolf, as sheep usually do in stories. He stood still, staring at the enemy. The wolf's mouth was already watering. He licked his lips. He purred with pleasure. The little sheep, a bit frightened by these faces the wolf was making, took a step back towards the river behind him. The wolf, thinking he was trying to escape, set off like mad without looking where he was going and splash! He fell into the river. Help! Help! cried the wolf. I'm going to drown. I can't swim. The little sheep hesitated a moment, but without knowing why, he stretched out a paw to him. Come on, I'll get you out of there. Once back on the riverbank, the wolf shivered with cold and fright. Full of generosity, the little sheep suggested, let me warm you up. My fleece is soft and warm. The old wolf was far too proud to let a sheep snuggle up to him. He recovered his deep grumbling voice. Why are you sitting here next to me? You really don't understand anything. Don't you know that wolves devour sheep? If I wanted to, I could eat you up in one bite. Perhaps, the sheep answered proudly, but I'm not just any sheep. I saved your life. And you're not an ungrateful wolf. You surely wouldn't still want to devour me now, would you? The old wolf was suddenly tongue-tied. He looked the sheep right in the eye. Thank you, he said. I've never known of another sheep as brave as you. From now on, let's be friends. That evening was Christmas Eve. The old grey wolf escorted the little white sheep back to his sheepfold. Dancing in the sky to the rhythm of the church bells, thousands of stars lit the way for the two good friends. <laughs>